right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop him. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Ensemble. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. All right, here he is for my money, Mike, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage, it's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going. Tonight. He has got to fight tall. He's gotta stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems, trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. Gets the elbow up into the target. Wild swing there. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Gazelia. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice punch by Choi. All right, single collar tie now. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Oh, nice right hand. Lanza glancing right hand upstairs. Just over three minutes to go. Ooh, what a punch. Ooh, blocks the shot. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Short. Ty. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Start to see some of the damage cut underneath that right eye. Really timing his shots nicely, good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of... Double leg takedown attempt here, and that is a good attempt as he gets the fight back to the mat. It's ideal. His ideal situation just happened. He got in on the shot, didn't have to put too much effort to finish. Great job. A lot of top pressure being applied here. 
Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Good deal, you gets back up, no surprise there. Nice looping punch. It's very tricky when he throws that body. Oh, that is an uppercut from hell. Beautiful job by him there. I mean, he threw that thing from his hip and he landed with all the force that he could muster. I'm surprised he didn't knock him out with that punch. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Nice. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. How good is that right hand? Defensively as he blocks the shot. Joy gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. <laughs> Trying to kick the leg out. And they separate. Gedalia's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Round two straight ahead. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Great job with this combination last round. I want you to stick with the striking game. You're destroying them like that. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, champ? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. Big ball punch lands. Now we get back to range. Those jabs are landing, though. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the setup punch. The jab. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, big left. Oh! And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Oh, and there's a kick now to the body. That one's blocked by Chor. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. What a punch. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Just misses there with the left. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Delia gets the takedown. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to fold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Both fighters back to their feet now. And they separate. Well, 
He has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one. Oh, man. Back and forth we go. Just misses with the straight right. Nice punch lands over the top. It's such a fast leg kick. Choi's cut is getting worse here. Man, is that bleeding. Punch coming, it's blocked. Straight right, he misses. Got clip with the right hand. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Great punch, landing with so much power. Oh, Gedalia's kick is blocked. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that one. You love that one, <laughs> don't you? You love that jab. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nice straight punch. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Right hand on point. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Oh, yeah, right hand. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Oh! What a fight so far! All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight. It was still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. That was a thudding leg kick. Nice head kick. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, Gedalia's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Unable to land with that punch. Oh, he lands a straight punch there, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He has been throwing this strike over and over again. Look how crisp and straight he is. Just over three minutes to go. 
Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he is taking. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finishes. Beautiful punch. things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. He needs to try to get to a half guard at least. At minimum, try to go to half guard. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh man, I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side underhook. This is a great position for a top fighter. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. That one appeared to stun him. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Beautiful knee. Just misses with a left hook there. there oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Back and forth we go. Just misses with the punch by Choi. Oh! Huge right hand! He's in trouble. Wow. He's hurt bad. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Gedalia. Just missed with the left there. Nice strike. Choi's face is a hot mess, man. That cut on his cheek is getting worse by the minute and worse with every strike landed by his opponent. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Now connects with a right. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. He keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with his, with his bottom half. He doesn't do anything with his arms. His arms are free to punch. 
He's collecting you with his hips and his legs, making you make a determination as to whether or not you want to get grounded upon into the mat, or if you're going to give your back up, where he will then start to chase choke. A lot of energy expenditure defensively if you are the bottom fighter in this equation. Joy gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice punch land. Just over three minutes now to go. Right hand punch to the clinch. And they separate. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Under three minutes remain in round four. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Lunges forward with a left there. Lands with the kick there. No pad on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws. Flush right hand is true. Oh, man. No! Holy smokes! He put him to sleep. Back to the feet. Repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at two minutes, 37 seconds of round number four. Going the winner. Uh